Hi guys, it's your girl Jean back with another video. How's everybody doing? I pray that your day has been going wonderful, that you're looking forward to the rest of the day, and I thank you for stopping by my channel looking at my video. And if you have not subscribed, please take the time right now and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you will know every time I upload a new video. And when you watch my video, hit that thumbs up to let me know that you like it. And please share this video out with everyone you know. Today, I have a word for you over my breakfast. I woke up, I said, well, let me talk to my subscribers this morning. And the word that I have for you is a new way. That's, it's just as simple as that, a new way. And we're going to say a little prayer, and then we're going to get on with this word. Father God, I come before you this morning, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto you. I pray today that you bless my subscribers, bless those who are watching this video, that you guide them throughout the day. I want to thank you for this lovely breakfast. Thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, amen. Always get your prayer in, okay? And so like today, um, I say a new way. And it comes from the scripture, Isaiah 43, 19, out of the NIV. And it says, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So a new way. God has a plan for your life. Do you resist and fear change? Even when it's a great move forward that leads to something better. Instead of being fixed and stagnant, decide to reach toward opportunity and place God's plans before yours. Amen. That's, that's a good word. That's a good word because God has a plan for our life. I know we say, um, well, when I grow up, I want to do this. I want to do that. Well, when I become an adult, I'm going to go out on my own and I'm going to go here and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to. We can make all the plans that we want and they don't fall through. And we wonder why it's such a struggle and it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to turn out because it's your plans. Was it a plan that God had for you? Do you actually pray, pray about the things before you do them, before you even set out, or you just do it because you feel like you know better. You feel like this is what I want to do, so I'm going to do it. But you didn't stop and talk to the creator. <laughs> you didn't stop and say, God, is this a right decision for me? Which way should I go? And then you got to listen to him. You got to listen. God put signs all in front of us. And we miss those signs because we're not paying attention. Our mind is set on what we want. We're not really thinking about the plans that God has for us. And he has plans for everybody. So don't think that because you're not doing what this person doing, I'm going where this person going, I got what they got. Um, don't think that you are nobody in this world. You was placed in this world for a reason. And you are somebody. And a lot of times you might not know right off what it is and you got to pray about it. You got to seek about it. You know your passion because God put that passion in you for like if you um, love helping people and can deal with blood and different things like that. And you know you got a passion that you just want to work in a hospital, that you want to be a EMT, that you want to work... In some kind of medical form, you always have, you got a passion for that. You care about that. Um, you might want to work in a field that you're around a lot of people because you can deal with people. Some people cannot deal with people. 
and some jobs that they have, they really don't need to be at those jobs. But you know that's what you like. You like helping people. You like caring for people. Some people like to get down in the dirt. <laughs> you know, they like the construction. They like digging. They like building. All that stuff is like a passion up in you because you know that's what you um, like to do and the type of work you like to do. And you want to go into that field. And you would not have the passion for it if God have not given you the ability to do it. And so you have to pray about every move that you make so you can make the right move and everything. I'm telling you, if it's the right move for you, it's going to fall in place. Even when it comes down to people that you work with, it's going to be more comfortable on that job. It's going to be more ease. You're going to feel like you're not going to dread getting up every day going to a job that you don't want to go to because you're going to love what you're doing and you know the direction that God's going to open that door for you when you put that application in during that interview. He's going to open that door for you and you step on in there. And so a lot of times things may not be going at the pace that you um you wanted to work for you fast. You know, you just want it and it may not be going at that pace for you. Calm down. It's going to work out. Take it easy. Take one step at a time. And then just let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. And then your pay will grow. You know, some people just want to jump in and want to make all this money and don't have the experience. Then really the whole know-all of how to do something gradually it'll happen for you because as you continue to grow in whatever you're doing and succeed, then favor is going to come your way and you're going to get that raise. You're going to get the amount. You're going to get that promotion. So listen, pray about everything you do, even if it's taking a trip, <laughs> Even if it's just saying, okay, I'm going to move. I want to move. So where I'm going to move to? Or I'm just going to move because this is available to me. God, where is the best place for me to be? And listen, and God will tell you some decisions. Um, you know, even when it comes to relationships and dating and marriage, God, is this the person that you have for me. Are we equally yoked? Is this who you want me to be with? And too often people just go out and they make their own decisions and it don't work. It failed. You didn't pray about it. And then even when God was showing you, as the words say, how you perceive it, you sure you don't perceive it your way because that's the way you want it to? Or is this the way God told you to go? So we have to resist what we want and we can't fear the change that God may tell you to do because I'm, I'm guilty of it. I'll be the first person to tell you where God has told me to move and I didn't because of fear, you know. I was worried about uh, finances and how I'm going to do this and I don't know these people. I don't know this person. I got to go here by myself and I can sit back now and say, Lord, forgive me because I didn't listen. I didn't follow God's plan because I just felt like I could not commit myself to it. And I could have. He had equipped me. Um, I can look back now and say he had equipped me and things would have been fine and things would have turned out different for me. And I can't go back. A lot of times the mistakes that we make, we can't go back and change it. So when that opportunity is there, uh, you got to pray about it because you also don't want it to be an opposite. You don't want to take something because somebody came and told you, oh, I'm going to give you this. And if you do this and you do that and you haven't prayed about it, you go out there and do it and bam, and you have regrets about that. So everything that you do, as being a living witness, I could tell you, talk to God about it. 
and he'll answer you. He'll guide you and direct you. You know, he'll guide you. He'll put the people in front of you that needs to be there to help you to make a decision to um, make that turn. And like I said, don't let fear step in because you're stronger than you think you are. You're braver than you think you are. And don't do so many, buddy, if, buddy, if, buddy, if, buddy, if. If you know God told you this is the way that you go, that this is a plan he has for you, then you know he is behind it. He's not going to let you fail. He's going to open them doors for you. He's going to put people in your path. You will be surprised and you got to listen. And when they, you know, don't give an answer right quick. Because some of them might tell you, well, I need to know right now because da 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 Say, let me pray about it. <laughs> let me pray about it. And if God say yes, then you let them know, okay, that sounds good. Or you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to make this move. God said it's okay. He with me. And I believe he's going to guide me and everything is going to turn out right. And so the prayer that they have with this study today is, Dear Lord, I know that you are always in control of my life and that your ways are better than mine. Trust me, God's ways are better than ours. And so listen to him. A lot of the back and forth that you wonder about. I mean, and I'm talking about any situation, not just a move or a job. I'm just saying any situation in your life um, deal that you have to deal with in, in different people, you have to pray about it. Please trust me when I say pray about it. Don't make that jump and then you regret that jump. I take, y'all, I got me some cheese eggs and some toast. That's what I wanted this morning. And uh, so I'm going to eat this and get my morning started. It is so hot here in my hometown. Already, it's like 80 degrees. I woke up, it was like 78. And so I don't have my air conditioner on now because I'm, I'm, I'm a breeze, outdoor breeze type person. So when I looked out, I had it on all night, actually. And when I woke up and I looked out the window, I saw the little trees blowing in the wind. I said, well, it's a little air out there. So we're going to let some outside air in here. And I opened my windows and I cut my ceiling fans on. Mm. I love garlic toast. And so, after a while, though, I'll be closing <laughs> and cutting the air on. Mm, mm, mm. And I just want you to enjoy the rest of your day. And don't fear what the day has to bring. Everything look different, sound different. Not something you used to doing. But don't worry about it. You're going to make it through. You're still here now, right? And you done been through some of every kind of changes. But you're still here. You're still moving along. Don't fear everything. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Mm, mm, mm. Whatever them images telling you, bind them and get them out your head. And go ahead with your life and have a glorious life. He plans for us to have. He don't want to see anybody suffer. He don't want to see you lacking. Go out there. Follow God's word and God's plan for you. And I'm telling you, it's going to work out right. And let me know. Come back and say, Gene, 
I watched your video and I was struggling which way to go. But I prayed and God showed me the way. And let me tell you, it's working out. It made a difference. Let me know how things go for you because I pray that you, your life be blessed. Everything about you be blessed. And I thank you again for watching my videos. And I pray that you share them out with others. And come back and check out my next video. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.